And what do we have here? We got ourselves another Justin Wine box. Single this time. I actually got this from the same lady that sold my friend uh, the double stack wine box. And it's funny. She had she a uh, short story. She showed it to me. She opened it up and said, you know, showed me how it had the bracings for the wine. And I told her, you know what? Um, I don't really need it since I'm repurposing it. Told me the story of someone already telling her the same thing about a the other one that she had that she sold them. And I said, wait a minute. Is it this one? And I showed her pictures. And of course, sure enough, she uh, she agreed. And she, she found that very interesting. Um, my friend being the first buyer of hers for whatever she had on offer up. So anyway, I like the way the other one came out, even though I was cursing it. But this one's a just for one bottle it's pine but because it's a lot smaller the bracing it doesn't have to be too aggressive on it i've already figured out where i'm going to put the um the speakers they're going to go here and i'm going to put i'm going to port it with one of these bad boys right here so it's going to be like that boom and what do we have here down here we're gonna do we're gonna do don't mind my mess we're gonna do these right here the tx35 so first we can do some holes they're going to be flush in the back uh we're going to test it out see how it sounds with just one port if anything i already have another port coming from parts express identical if in case there's uh too much air velocity i have to go because my kids call me okay holes are cut uh, round over is done port hole both of these what i did not anticipate i always do this is that where since these are going to be mount, mounted from the back uh these right here the slots to hold the wine holder the, the wine bracing um is gonna pose a problem so i'm gonna go, it's gonna go here and it's nice and snug it is snug as can be but if you can see right there i'm gonna have to seal that somehow something that looks like wood so there's wood filler i'm going to use uh, and the uh, cord's going to go here there you go it's i have these holes from um, the, the hole cuts to, to cut the uh, cut these smaller holes because the ja uh, jasper jig can only cut um smallest is two i mean that's what i have two up to eight 18 inches but um this is what i have this i had to go over twice i think this is a full inch in depth so <laughs> i had to go over twice um it'll be good no frills i'm just gonna make it like that that's how much space i have that's good i'm just gonna being that this is so deep and i can't go in here with a router naturally or even a drill to pre make to make these um make these holes for the screws to hold the speakers down that's going to be a little it's going to be a little problem but uh not anything that i won't be able to do so i have a little bit of work ahead of me here for this to complete it to get it running where am i going to put the amp? i thought i was going to put the amp board like somewhere down here but um we will see here's the amp board that i'm using it's going to be 12 volts so it's going to be 60 by 2 not the 100 um, this is the zk 102 we will see it's gonna be uh very exciting once i get it going base price on this is 100 bucks with no frills and not even not even a stain on it because some people just don't want to pay for that they just uh they get sticker shock or whatever let me see it's, if is it is it even gonna fit oh my god just burly burly you know burly so something like that and of course it'll be sunk um, in and it clears it so we'll see now i'm gonna have a little bit of room once once this goes in of, um to for for the dc power well, i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens